family it's the mobile home diva and in today's video we're going to be touring this home now this home is um the in the free state home series by winston the name of this home is the sardis the model number is 327243a it is a four bedroom three bath home super excited to see it it's humongous humongous it's a nice surprise four bedrooms three bath let's look at it from the side all right so let's go on in and take a look again this is by winston homes it's in the free state home series and the name is Sardis. I'll put all the inf information below, but it's a four bedroom, three bath. Ooh, so pretty. Let me take my shoes off. All right, so very nice. Don't mind my shoes at the door. I just came in that front door and they, and they have this little area here, which I really love because I could see a nice bench there in the middle. Um, some really pretty decor um a cute throw area rug right there really pretty i love the golden uh the golden honey golden beams in the ceiling there are can lights up there as well this is really pretty love the front door people can't have to be up on the door to see in but you can see out really nice I love this little entryway area. Really pretty. I love the color here. This color is different from the rest of the house as you'll see in a minute. This is a slightly darker um, beige, um, but it has some really nice features. Uh, look at the, um, can't think of what you call it, recessed ceiling, has that same color and the honey beams it has a ceiling fan in here love the built-ins in the living room just really really nice i like this this is so pretty so pretty let's go over here so you can get a better look again this is the living room area can't see behind there i want to peep and see if it's a fireplace they're still putting it together yup oh, I'm gonna lay this I hope they don't mind yep I'm moving stuff very nice love the shelving love the attention to detail look at the wood Oh, I love that. That is like real wood, you guys. So pretty. The brick in the fireplace. I'm glad I looked. I'm glad I moved it. That is so pretty. Let's zoom in and see if you can see that. Really pretty. Really pretty. So pretty, I love it. Again, they have the recessed ceiling, can lights, beams, all of that's optional. I think it's perfect with it. What do you think? Absolutely perfect with it. So nice. Great that they have the fireplace. You have a dining room over here, you've got the sliding glass door um, in your dining room. 
off the dining room. You have a pantry. Very nice. Love the shelving in here. No wire racks in this pantry, y'all. Lots of space for food stuff, appliances, great storage area. It does have a door, it just wasn't open. Really nice. Really nice. Now let's look at the kitchen. I love the um, bronze look of the pendant lights. Really nice. It goes well with the wood features in the living room. You've got white cabinet space. You've got stainless steel appliances. You've got gold hardware or a, like a brass hardware on the cabinets. Built-in microwave right there. Really nice. Lots of counter space. In the island, you've got two, four cabinets and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drawers. Really nice. Really nice. Thought it was soft clothes. It's not. <laughs> Look at the big picture window over the industrial sink. You've got this dark color tile. As big as it is, I don't think that is called subway tile, but it's so pretty. I love it. They spared no thought to detail in this kitchen. Tall cabinets that go all the way up to the ceiling beautiful really really pretty love the wood in the island like they spared no thought to expense in this Winston home again this is the Sardis it's a four bedroom three bath we got a lot of house to look at so and I could probably stay here all day I love the countertops, I love everything about this. So very good. Let's go down this hallway and take a look at what we have down here. Now this is a long hallway, which I really love. So everything over here is separate from the house. You've got a powder room here with just a sink and toilet, but you've also got space to do maybe a table in here or something decorated really pretty um this is a bluish gray um paint color in here the brass look um lighting to match the pendant lights really pretty really nice so you got a powder room there and then next to the powder room is your laundry room huge laundry room You've got a whole wall of upper cabinets, so six cabinets, and then you've got two below. You've got space to fold, and your washer and dryer goes there. There's your back door. And then on this side, you can put maybe shelving, you can put a table, you can put, um, uh, Oh, mud room. You can make this a mud room. I'm sorry, I was in another house and couldn't think of that name. And there's even a plug for a deep freezer if you like. So really nice. I'll turn back around and look again. Really, really pretty. Good. So you got a powder room and a laundry room here. And then down the hall, it opens up into... This other little area that is where the bedrooms are. So here's your first guest bedroom. So the walls in here are white, but then in the closet, they have 
like a wood look. But this is a nice walk-in closet. Really nice. Long closet. All right. So that's the first guest bedroom. Guest bedroom number two. You got a walk-in closet. There's that wood look again. And even though they're still putting this house together, I noticed that the trim over here is done and that has a wood look. So some really nice features in here. Now here's the guest bathroom. This is a full bath, transom window over the shower. You got nice, uh, you got nice space on the sink, huge rectangular sink and window. And you got your toilet over there. You got a linen closet in here with those same brass um, hardware as in the kitchen. Really pretty. And I love the color of the floors too, you guys. So pretty. And then this is the third guest bedroom. in that closet. Nice home. This is a really nice home. So this side has the three bedrooms and two bathrooms. One is a powder room. Love the powder room. And again, that's down this side of the house. All right, so now let's go take a look at the master. Now the master is off the kitchen and living room down this way, little hallway that leads to the master. So it's not like opening up into one of those rooms. Here's your master. Again, let me come over here. This is a really nice size master really nice and here is the master bedroom you've got double sinks brass hardware two huge mirrors you've got a huge garden tub, frosted window. Now that window doesn't open. But it is a frosted window. You've got a window that opens in the toilet room and a door to that room. And then you've got this huge, huge, huge shower with the rain shower shower head really nice that glass doesn't move but it's on the side of um i like that you control the water over here and then the shower head is over there where the glass is you just got to have a squeegee to keep it clean <laughs> huge now this is an oversized shower you guys this is an upgrade for sure. And then let's look at the master closet. Really nice. Got a transom window in here. Now, let me talk about this master closet. I like this closet. This isn't the biggest master closet that I've seen, but the fact that it has two sets of shelving and rods for your clothes more than makes up for it. So even if the husband and wife 
um, shared this closet. There's plenty of space for both because you have the upper level and the lower level for your clothes. The only thing that I worry about, and I would probably behind this door put, um, extend the top shelving for all of my dresses, my longer items, but really nice. Again, it's not the biggest closet, but it's, it's a really nice closet. They spare no expense on the shelving and the rods that are in here. It's not wire racks. Um, and they compensated. It's a big, it's a, it's technically a nice big closet. Not the biggest that I've seen today, but it more than makes up. It's actually double because it has the upper and lower shelving, if that makes sense. So really nice. And it has a transom wi uh, window, which is always a really nice feature. So let me scan this again. Really nice. All right, so this is the Sardis. It's a, in the Free State series by Winston Holmes. It's located at Sinclair Oconee um mobile homes in Milledgeville, georgia if you have any questions if you want to know the price or if you have any questions about the home how you can get it in your area um features that you could change about it give them a call they're happy to talk to you they don't list prices because they're people people they they are people persons right they want to talk to their customers so Give them a call and thank you so much for watching this tour. See you in the next video. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree. I wake up and live my dream. So Even